Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron, where we currently have a small strike issue going on. Every time we deal with the strikes, they just immediately pop back up. It's slightly irritating to be sure, but it is, I think, to be expected ultimately. If only we had some technology we could research for it, but alas, we do not. Instead, I think that we should probably work on logistics companies. That would be fantastic. Let's go ahead and start working on that. Wonderful. Our manpower has dropped dramatically since I last looked at it, and I'm not sure what happened there. I suppose we did some more recruitment, didn't we? We have unfulfilled import requests. Steal from Vichy, France. So I think we are going to not import from Vichy, France for the steal then since they are not fulfilling that. And we are instead going to look to import from, say, the German Reich, as well as Turkey, as well as perhaps Japan, like that. How's that? Puts us to negative 36. Okay, so we're still going to need one from British Malaya. Negative 28. And we're going to get one here as well. And let's see, the UK. That brings us to negative 12. Vichy France can deliver the other 16. Fantastic. Okay, we have unassigned divisions. These guys go to the Coast Guard, as expected. Heroes on the production front. Fantastic. Heroes one and all. Base stability, plus five. Okay, so that gets our strikes over in before the strikes happen again basically immediately. Unfortunately, we're at negative 80 political power, which means our justification is not currently moving. So that's the thing that we're slightly con concerned about, to be sure. We do have resistance to occupation, and we should probably check to see where we should root out resistance. It looks like... Uruguay. Okay. So that'll work for now. I also want to go into our intelligence agency here and work on doing additional anti-partisan research. Fantastic. Uh, what is this? Hungary has proclaimed Greater Hungary. Having regained the lands... Where are you? Hello, Greater Hungary. Having regained the lands that were taken from them in the Treaty of Trianon, Miklos Horthy issued a proclamation yesterday evening that the nation shall henceforth be known as Greater Hungary. It is hoped that this will serve to increase Greater Hungary's prestige in the eyes of the world, as well as better describe the extent of its borders. They're a bit full of themselves. Indeed, they are. Legionary Romania over there. Nice. Looks like Italy has managed to push the United States almost entirely out, which is slightly shocking. But okay, as long as they're not worried about us, that is what I'm interested in. So up to 47% stability at this point. And hopefully that means that the strikes are going to become less likely as we proceed here. Infantry Equipment 3 just finished up. That, of course, means we want to immediately switch over to that. That does drop our production efficiency, and we'll start working that all the way back up. We are also currently short on a little bit of steel. There we go. Problem solved. And we need to select a technology here. And I think that what we're going to go for is probably... Improved artillery, perhaps? We just have towed artillery right now. Improved artillery would probably be useful. Excellent. So we will work on that. And we are positive on our fuel at this point. Our war support is going pretty well. Our manpower is not as high as I would like, in all honesty. I think I'm going to drop two... I'm, I'm going to drop three of these training divisions of armor. I do want to get these trained as soon as possible. This division is currently unassigned and will go into the Coast Guard, obviously. Fantastic. Night Assault Tactics in 61 days, Heavy Tank 2 in 53 days. Now, we're nowhere near our 
production speed on Heavy Tank 1. But that's okay. I would rather switch to Heavy Tank 2 immediately. There's our destroyer effort finishing up. And let's start working on... We have basically no choice at this point. We have to go collectivist ethos. Which is fine. We will definitely do that. Now we're short once again on steel and aluminum. Because Vichy France is not delivering what they were promising. So we're going to toss those factories at the United States instead. And we're also going to bump up our factories. Actually, hang on. There we go. And then for steel, Vichy France is not giving us what, they're, what they are promising. And we're going to get this instead from the United States, I guess. There we go. Fantastic. We do have resistance to occupation still, and we're really wanting to get our political power done. Vichy France has been called in against the Soviets. Liberia has capitulated to Vichy France. Okay. Uh, this war is pretty off the rails. Oh, hello. Free France doing some work over here. I'm guessing this was the D-Day invasion. Yeah, that's definitely an invasion happening up here. And the UK attacking Italy. Okay. Okay. This is completely fine. We want to allow this to happen. More, more specifically, what we want is more time. I would really like to have atta attacked Argentina by now, but those strikes, they're so rough. I feel like that was mostly just bad luck on the strikes, if I'm honest. I also feel like these dockyards are kind of the top priority, but also kind of the bottom priority, because we want to get our infrastructure so that we can get as much resources as possible so that we don't have to trade for them. That would be the ideal scenario. If we look at the resource map mode here, we can see things are going okay here, not so great here, not so great here or here for now. So that's definitely things that we need to work up and we definitely want to attack Argentina. There's no doubt about that one. I desperately want to attack Argentina. Heavy tank 2 will be done in 35 days. Improved artillery 2 in 39. Vichy France wants a non-aggression pact. I'm going to decline. Our anti-partisans just improved, which is great. That means that we have five more factories going into infrastructure. The real question is, do we want to do additional upgrades here? Let's see here. Operative recruitment choices. But what I want is additional operatives. And I forget where you find those. Just counter intel. Civilian intelligence, army intelligence, navy intelligence, air intelligence. Yeah, not really what we're looking for. Available slots. Yeah, I want additional operative slots right now. That's what is really necessary from our from our agency here. But I'm not actually seeing that. Become spy master. Okay. I definitely forget how to do this. There's no doubt about that. But let's just go ahead and work on some passive defense for now. Unfulfilled import requests. Steel from British Malaya. Okay, so we're going to bump up our steel from the US instead, and we're going to drop our British Malaya steel. Okay. Yes, this looks good. Fantastic. Our manpower is still very low. We may actually want to go down, like deploy some of these lines instantly, or we may just want to cancel production on two of these lines, say these two here, and go down to three. Yeah, that seems okay. Excellent. Germany wants us to join the Axis. I decline. Things aren't looking so great for the Axis over here. That said, we could join it and take this territory. What are the resources up here? That is a whole lot of aluminum.
That is frankly a ridiculous amount of aluminum. It would immediately put us at war with these guys, but also at war with the United States. And that's not really something that I want to risk. Go away, Peru. I don't care about your non-aggression pact. Action is currently paused because of lack of political power. We should start having political power again in 19 days, approximately. So that's good. That's very, very good. How is our tank production doing? 1.2 per day. It's ramping up. We definitely need additional factories devoted to this as we get factories available. And British Malaya has capitulated. So let's just see how we are doing logistically on our heavy tanks. Not too bad. How are we doing on our infantry upgrades? That's a reinforcement there. Like, I want to see how many we need for upgrades. Can we just hide this? No. No, we can't. Perfect. So, I mean, we do need a little bit for reinforcement here, but that's going to be consistent. And constant. Yeah. So, I just, I want to know how many are needed for upgrading. That would be very important to me. Heavy Tank 2 has finished up. We're going to start working on Heavy Tank 3 immediately. That is a little bit ahead of time, but that's fine. And we have outdated equipment in production. We're going to bump this over to Heavy Tank 2. Yes, that does restart our production efficiency. I am aware of this. But I'm completely fine with this. We want to work our way down to modern tanks as quickly as we can, I think. So that should be fine. Once we get there, it's a ways ahead of time. So we're probably not going to grab modern tank immediately. There's our improved artillery. That's wonderful. And let's just improve our artillery via these passive increases. Fantastic. And we're going to swap from towed artillery over to improved artillery. And reset that production efficiency. I mean, this is a good time to not be fighting, I suppose, since we are working on our production efficiency in a lot of locations. We're also about to go positive in our political power, so our justification on Argentina will continue to proceed. There's our passive defense finishing up, and I do think that maybe we should grab this because that's operative recruitment choices. That's not an operative slot, though, is it? It really, really isn't. Where do we get the operative slots? I guess we'll do this and see if it's just a weird phrasing in the tooltip. So I'd really, really love to get an operative slot. Night Assault Tactics finishing up. That's nice. And we are next going to grab Attritional Containment. That's actually pretty good. Just that flat organization upgrade. I like it. Yes, it will take a while, but that's completely fine. So it looks like the Axis may be beginning to collapse here. Germany bit off a bit more than it can chew. And we're not shocked by this. Actually, if we look at this war, we can see Germany and the, or rather the Axis and the Comintern have gotten almost equivalent amounts of losses. But if we look at this war here, can we see this war? I wish we could see this war. Unfortunately, I don't think we can. We are a little bit short on steel right now. We'll grab a little bit from the U.S. Perfect. And we are progressing in our justification once more. So that's wonderful. Expected to finish 6 July 1943. It's going to be a while, but that's okay. We can work on our tanks here. That'll be fine. At some point, we probably want to disband our cavalry units, which we have one here. I'm actually going to move this cavalry unit into our Coast Guard and then move this infantry unit into here. I don't want cavalry in this. I do want tanks in there, but we don't have any tanks right now. We'll grab nationalism focus right now, and that will give us daily fascism support that we don't need. That's okay, though. 
I'm super glad to see that we haven't gotten additional strikes. Yet. Nepal is improving relations with, with Argentina, which, you know, we very much care about. Just ever so much. <laughs> Our infantry equipment 3 is working its way up. The Kingdom of Greece has capitulated to Italy. Who is itself being invaded from the south by the UK. Free France is attacking over here. Into the Italian colonies. And yeah, this, this just generally isn't looking great for the Axis. So that's good. It's very, very good for us. Uh, what did we just get here? Available planes and reserves? Yeah, that's expected, of course. We can bump up this wing size, I suppose. The What is the current cap here? 400? Okay. So I actually don't necessarily want to bump up this cap. I want instead to add another wing here, and that will be a wing of tactical bombers. And we want there to be, say, 200 of those. And they are going to start working on perhaps strategic bombing here. Are these any good at all at close air support? I don't see anything in here about that. So I think what we'll probably end up doing is strategic bombing. Out over here, of course. Fantastic. We have decisions available, and that's... Oh, local agent recruitment in South America. Yes, I would like to do this. Uh, let's go into our intelligence agency here. I don't see a way to do this. In Santa Cruz... I don't see an, a way to do this, so <laughs> that's exciting. That is definitely exciting. However, we should definitely take a look at this guy and if he should be anywhere else right now. The answer is yes, he should be over here. Okay. So there we go. He is working on that. Fantastic. Yeah, we do have resistance to occupation. This isn't shocking. And we have an unassigned division here. These will, of course, go into the Coast Guard. There we go. And who isn't fulfilling... Okay, they are fulfilling the import request now. So that's good. That's very, very good indeed. Still going to be a while on this. Still going to be about six months. So that's okay. I would have liked to have launched this by now, but we are working up our infrastructure in all of these locations, and that is, of course, wonderful. And let's check factories. Yeah, no factories to be built. Okay, sounds good. So yeah, this Coast Guard is going to eventually have to be extended, but that's fine. They're really more a border guard, I suppose. We're currently lacking two units of steel. Let's get another eight units from the U.S. Fantastic. We are trading away a lot of our of our consumer factories right now. Which isn't necessarily a great thing. To be clear. However, our heavy tank twos are increasing in their production. They are up to 1.07 per day. There's our logistics companies figured out. And we are next going to work on, I think, Logistics Company 2. This is always great as your armies start improving in size. Now, it's not strictly speaking necessary right now, but we can definitely put in... Let's see, we would want support artillery for the breakthrough, right? 580... Technically, the engineer company would be better for the breakthrough. So we'll put an engineer company in, and that's all we have for now. So we'll have that for that breakthrough. And we are going to need additional army experience. I'm going to tell these guys to start drilling to generate a little bit. That's going to generate some. And that's completely fine. Now, we have a lot of... Thanks, US. <laughs> 
<laughs> the U.S. are being jerks. To be expected. Italy? Can you, uh... Maybe send us some steel? Thank you. At least until, you know, the U.S. stops being jerks about the whole thing. Oh, wait. Was I on the wrong one? I think I was on the wrong one. I think I was. We don't need this much. We need, like, 16. Yes. Okay. For the steel... Basically, only the U.S. has it, but they're not currently willing to trade it. Okay. So we're going to need to prioritize our steel usage then. And we're going to prioritize the heavy tank over everything else. Like that. We're going to be short on steel. I don't think there's any way around that, really. And that's part of the reason why I didn't really want to be importing it, right? The U.S. has tons of steel. They're not currently willing to trade it because our trade influence with them is negative 11. And why is that? They don't like us very much because of different ideology and our generated world tension. Fair enough. We could work on their, uh, their relations, though. And that's something I'm willing to do. Yes, it will reduce our political power gains. But I think that's something that I'm willing to do. We still need their steel for now. So we'll do that, and we're just going to be short on steel for a little bit until the U.S. gets over themselves. And we are probably going to want to come over here and start working on Construction 5 so that we can grab Excavation 5 for the resource gain efficiency. We're going to be needing that, it seems. Now, as far as our intelligence agency goes, is this still underway? No, that has been researched. Okay, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and work on, say, just additional civilian intelligence for now. Excellent. Okay, how long on this? Still a while. Still like five months. Okay, well, that's fine. We are working on our infrastructure down through here, and that will finish up soon enough. We don't have anything else to construct in terms of all that, so that's fine. We can definitely work on anti-air up this way once we uh, get our infrastructure finished. And that'll be fine. That's something that we can work on. How are we doing on our... Hmm... Okay. We're losing a little bit on artillery and support equipment right now. We can bump our... Well, that's actually because we have a complete lack of steel. That's why we're losing out on this right now. Same with this. We do have some stockpiled. And that's okay. I don't think we need quite this many factories working on infantry equipment necessarily. I'm going to bump two off of infantry equipment, and we're going to work on heavy tanks instead. Now, we're going to be short on chromium here. Can we get that anywhere? Yeah, Turkey can deliver us some chromium. So, that's great. Absolutely wonderful. So, that's fine. We are very short on our steel, though. We need 33 additional steel. There's our nationalism focus. And let's go ahead and work on our militarism. Army experience plus 20 is nice. That means, of course, that we're going to be able to modify some additional uh, additional regiments here. So this division, we would probably want to add a logistics company to it. Just to reduce the uh, the supply usage. That wouldn't really help the... Organization level or the piercing, though. I actually don't think we need to add the, the logistics company right now. That's something we can keep in our back pocket. But this engineer company, I think, was good. And we may want to consider adding support artillery here. It does reduce our organization a little bit. 
but it also increases our breakthrough and our heart attack, which is pretty important, I feel like. So I think that's going to be the overall goal there. And we're currently producing 1.53 heavy tanks per day, and we're only at 36% production efficiency. So I'm quite pleased with that. It is, however, time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to attack Argentina. I promise. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time. We are indeed questioning the motives of Argentina.